Hey guys, so in a previous video we made this simple snack game, but it was quite basic. All you can really do is collect fruit, but nothing happens if you hit yourself, and we don't actually know what our score is. So in this video we're going to add some extra functionality. We're going to add in what happens whenever the snake collides with itself. We want to start a new game, and we also want to keep a tally of our score somewhere here. If you'd like to watch the previous video, then I'm going to link it here and down below in the description. But if you don't want to watch it, you can just clone where we got to so far, and that is here. And I might actually have updated this with the new version, but you can go on ahead here and inspect the code. So we're going to get right into it now, and we're going to check whether the snake is hitting itself. So previously, inside draw, we were calling fruit.snake.eat, and this is checking if the snake is colliding with the fruit. We need to do something similar to check if the snake is colliding with its own tail. So we're just going to call here snake.check collision. And we don't have this check collision function yet in snake. So we're going to make it here. And say this dot check collision is a function, it takes no arguments. And what do we need to do? Well, Every time we're checking the collision, we need to check for every single part of the tail of the snake. And if you remember, we're storing each of these parts coordinates in an array called this.tail. So we can use this. So we're gonna make a for loop uh, from i and i up until tail uh, this.tail.length and we're gonna increment i. So what do we need to do for every section of the tail? We need to check if we are colliding with it from the head. So here we're checking if the head of the tail, if the head of the snake is colliding with the fruit. But we need to check if the head of the snake is colliding with a section of its own tail. So we can do that here. And here we're going to replace out fruit because we're not checking nothing to do with fruit here. We're checking this dot tail i, and this is i here. And we're checking if the y coordinate is colliding with this dot tail i dot y. And if it is, for now, we're just going to console.log colliding. We save that, make this a bit bigger, and we also need to open up our developer console. And I'm just gonna refresh the page, command R, just so we have the latest version. And I'm gonna make the snake a bit bigger. Okay, so now the snake's a good bit bigger, we're gonna check what happens when it collides with itself. So you can see we're printing out this message colliding over here in the terminal every time we hit itself. What do we actually want to do whenever there's a collision? We want to reset the snake's size or the snake's tail to an empty array and we also want to make the total back to zero. So let's do that. So we're going to say this.total equals zero and this.tail equals an empty array. If we save that, refresh, we're going to try this out again. Okay, you can see I hit myself there, and the snail's size was reset, the snake size was reset back to the start. And we're assuming we have no total, but we don't know that. So let's put our score somewhere so we know. So to do that, we're going to make an element here. And we're just going to make a div outside the canvas. So we're going to say div and what do we want to do? We want to give it a class equals score. Right, and there's nothing inside the div. Now that we have that div, we just need to change the contents of it on every, we're going to call this a clock cycle, but it's not a clock cycle. So every time the snake moves, we want to update our total. 
So to do that, we're going to go into draw, and here we're going to have access to this total by saying this dot total. Hmm. So we can say document dot query selector, and we're selecting a class score. So we're going to say dot score to select that, and we're going to say dot inner text equals snake dot score. And when do we want to do that? I guess we want to do it right here after the check collision. So if we collide, then we get the latest score on that clock cycle. So we have undefined because this isn't called snake.score, it's called snake.total. Because this is score stored here globally as total. If we refresh this, we can see it's zero, first of all. And whenever we hit, we get a score of one. Nice. I'm gonna make that a bit bigger so you guys can see. I'm gonna make it, instead of a div, I'm gonna make it a heading one. As you can see, it's a bit bigger. Um, and whenever I hit the fruit, it goes up by one. I'm just gonna make the snake a bit longer so we can see what happens whenever we die. So as you can see, I'm having way too much fun here, but we're gonna die now and see what happens. Cool, so the snake collided with itself, we reset the tail back to nothing, and our score reset back to zero. So that's really nice. So this is the bonus video of creating a snake game using just plain vanilla JavaScript. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked, like the video, and if there's anything else you'd like to see, don't be afraid to ask in the comments. I'm gonna be updating the source code here, so feel free to have a look at that. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.